Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is April 11th, 2018. The videos we will be viewing just came in today from the Federal Aviation Weather Camps in Alaska. Each frame in these videos is 10 minutes. YouTube channel WSO with Steve Olson did an article yesterday, April 10th, regarding a bright light each morning in the northwest sky. I'll put a link to his video in the description box below. I was interested to see if I could see the same thing in Alaska or Canada, but it was tough to find because the northwest morning sky all over Alaska and Canada was extremely heavily chemtrailed. I continued looking and found a couple videos where the chemically induced clouds lifted just enough to reveal a bright light source in the morning northwest sky. Here is a very bright light source in the morning northwest sky from the northwest facing weather cam in Burners Bay, Alaska. There is something very obviously yellowish orange and glowing on the horizon this morning. The northwest facing weather cam in Buckland, Alaska shows a glow on the northwest horizon this morning. The northwest facing camera in Akun Island shows a red glow on the horizon amidst heavy chemtrailing. The northwest facing camera in Chignik Bay shows a very bright yellow and orange glow on the horizon in the northwest morning sky. That's enough all, that's all I have for the northwest sky for this morning and now I've got some pictures of planets and some other things that are interesting. The southeast facing weather cam in Buckland, Alaska shows a red rolling planet rolling across the sky faded into the atmospheric chemicals. And then at Elam, Alaska the southeast camera shows a much larger planet on the horizon but more difficult to see in the atmospheric chemicals. See the glare coming from above the planet. Watch how it actually follows the planet in an attempt to obscure it from view. This is a known concealment mechanism. Here are some images with contrast of what we just viewed. The planet appears to have a very colorful and highly textured surface. It's really interesting. And then here's some enlargements of the same thing. The first picture is the most striking of all though, I think. It has lots of color and really shows some texture. The southeast facing weather cam in Kotzebue shows a red, fast rotating crater pocked planet rolling across the sky. The southeast facing weather cam in White Mountain shows a transparent looking large planet. This one is nearly impossible to see without contrast added. Did you ever wonder what causes these odd, colorful reflections to float across the screen in thousands of these FAA images? There is an object in the sky causing these reflections, and we're going to be looking at it. It is very far away, and it's marked with an arrow. I call it a jet for lack of a better term, and I don't know if it's a, a manned aircraft or if it's more of a drone, uh, just remotely controlled. In Nome, Alaska, we see the same reflections float across the screen. Eventually, the jet does become visible in this video. And in Kivalina, we see the reflections again. These reflections are always present during an eclipse or a near eclipse. The east facing camera in Kotzebue shows the same thing. Here is a reflection of the eclipsing planet and not the actual planet. The actual planet is, is larger and will be visible as soon as the jet stops activating the concealment equipment. And here is the actual planet that just eclipsed the Sun. Some contrast helps to view it better. Actually it's almost impossible to see without the contrast. The black dot in front of the Sun that we've been seeing on these images, close to Earth, reflects upon water surfaces. This reflection is seen by anyone with or without a camera, proving it is not a camera or lighting issue. This is the equipment that puts out the glare that we saw earlier. 
trying to obscure planets from view. The east-facing weather cam in Golovin shows a planet hidden in the atmospheric chemicals. Here is an interesting video from the southeast-facing weather cam located in Shifornik, Alaska. Keep your eyes on where our sun is. The sun is currently at the very top, above the camera's field of view, above the top of the screen. Another light source is just below it. This orange light source you are tracking is not our sun, but it is moving in the same direction as our sun, and it's always located just below our sun. When our sun sets and rises, that object is there. In the last frame, the sun develops a halo, just as it does for many other eclipses and near eclipses. The southeast facing camera in Chignik Bay allow, uh, shows the sun at the top of the screen on the left, but something bright and orange and yellow is rising up from behind the mountain. The west facing weather cam in Kotzebue caught the same reflection on the metal rooftop that we saw yesterday. The reflection takes two and a half hours to move from one end of the roof to the other, so we know it's not an aircraft. It is moving in the opposite direction of our sun's reflection. About four hours later comes our sun, which I used from yesterday's images to save time. Our sun is moving in the opposite direction. The jet also happens to be in this video with its bright pink airplane shaped reflection at the bottom of the screen. The reflection that we just saw moving in the opposite direction as the sun I believe is the item that we're seeing in the northwestern sky in the morning making it glow. The objects we have just viewed are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.